Hey Youtubers, in this video I will explain to you how my amplifier works. Enjoy! Ok, I have it connected and it's already on. It's being, the voltage is supplied from this old um, computer power supply. And I've also connected it to my speakers. They are significantly larger than the amplifier itself, as you can see. But this doesn't mean that it has a problem driving them. So let's start with the demo. I'll just play some Spanish guitar first. Now I have some 10 Hz bass. You can see the LEDs. They're blinking, but it's not really visible on the camera. Okay, so let me now tell you actually how it works, which is the point of this video. The small size can be misleading because it's a full-blown Quasi-D power amplifier. And the reason why it has so few components is that this chip over here is an Atmo microcontroller, or in other words, a small CPU. On the screen now you can see the block diagram. And I will talk first about the DC offset and low pass stages. So I will trace the path of the signal from the input to the output. Everything starts here at the, at the jack socket, that's just a normal 3.5 mm jack, as in any auxiliary port. Then we go to the DC bias stage, which is pretty much the streamer and this capacitor. And we need, we need to shift the waveform to be centered around the middle of the supply voltage of the microcontroller in order to get the best precision. Then the signal goes to the low pass filter, which is this resistor and the small capacitor, the ceramic capacitor behind it. The reason why we have this is that my laptop produces a very high pitched whistle. You cannot hear it, but it is there. And I, I'm inclined to believe that many other devices do that, so I decided to add a filter. Um, then we enter the ADC, the analog to digital converter on this pin I'm pointing to at and um, from here on we operate in the digital domain. If you remember the block diagram, at this point we have the pool suite modulator driver and the deter. But before I talk about it, let me first quickly mention why we have so many LEDs on this board. The reason is that I use them as Zener diodes and first I did not have any Zener diodes and also they make it kind of light up in this green color which I kind of like. So very quickly, um, those two diodes and this transistor are actually a DC voltage regulator that convert the 12 volt power supply to a 5 volt for the microcontroller. So now talking about the microcontroller, you can see it's the Atmo Tiny 85 I believe I used here. It has a 10 bit analog to digital converter on board. And once we enter the digital domain, driving the power stage is just a matter of some C programming. There are many things happening inside, but in essence we are simply driving two pull switch modulators which connect to an H, H bridge, which is everything from this point to the right. The H bridge is a circuit typically used in robots to drive um, um, electric motors both directions but it suits our needs perfectly here so I decided to use it. Uh, you might wonder why I picked an H bridge and the reason is that this is a bridged car amplifier and the supply voltage is just 12 volts so uh, with the H bridge we can use all of it to drive the speakers. After that we go through several Schottky diodes. This is just pro to protect from uh, current spikes coming back from the speaker. And then we have a low pass filter made out of uh, this inductor which I wound myself and this small capacitor over there. This is the output port and my speakers connect to this wire. And that's pretty much it. You can check the project webpage, the link is uh, just under the video and uh, tell me what you think.